Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If your car is throwing a misfire code on bank one or even flashing check engine lights, don't freak out just yet. Today we're diving into what a misfire actually is, what bank one means, the cause and how to fix it. Let's start simple. A misfire is when of your engine cylinders fail to ignite the air fuel mixture at the right time. When that happens, your engine might shake, feel weak, or run rough. Your engine's power comes from timed explosions. Now let's talk bank one. Bank one is the side that has cylinder number one, you can usually find which side this is with your car's service manual or a quick search of your engine model. So if your scanner says something like P301, it's pointing to a problem on that side of the engine. You might even see the check engine light flashing. That's serious. That means the misfire is active and unburned fuel could be damaging your catalytic converter. Let's break it down. Ignition system failures. This one's the most common. Worn out spark plugs. Failing ignition coils. Damaged spark plug wires or even a bad distributor in older engines. How to check? Easy. Swap the ignition coil or spark plug from a bad cylinder to a good one. If the misfire moves, you've found your problem. Misfires can happen if fuel injectors are clogged or leaking, the fuel pump is weak, the fuel filter is clogged. But these things are not too common unless you have a 20-year-old vehicle. A mechanic can do a balance test or fuel pressure check, but you can start by just listening to each injector with a mechanic's stethoscope. No click, no good. Three, vacuum leaks, air intake issues, cracked vacuum hoses. A faulty oxygen sensor or clogged catalytic converter on bank one can confuse your car's brain and screw up how much fuel it's injecting. Look, ignoring a misfire on bank one might seem fine at first, but it's engine death waiting to happen. You could trash your catalytic converter and you'll definitely fail emissions. So yeah, don't ignore it. Here's the process I recommend. Scan the codes with an OBD2 scanner. Swap spark plugs or coils between cylinders. It moves, you found the problem. Listen for injector clicks. Check for vacuum leaks with carb cleaner. Keep it simple. Always start with the easy stuff first. All right, guys, that's a full breakdown on bank one misfires. What causes them, how to spot them, and how to fix them. Got a code you're unsure about? Drop it in the comments or send it over. I'll help you figure it out. If this helped you out, give it a like. Subscribe for more DIY tips, and I'll catch you in the next one.